Hey guys, it's Walker here. So today I am <clears throat> finally going to be doing a review of my Evapore. I've had this since like sometime in 2017. I think I got it when I did the unboxing video, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I've had it for a long time and I've gotten to have a lot of experience with it and I've had some issues and I've also had some things that I really appreciated with, appreciated with it. So, let's get into the review. So, the specific model that I have here, I think they call the Eva Smart, it sits at the top of what they have. But they also have the, what is it? I think, sorry, I forgot. Okay, it's called the Eva Chill. Um, and it's, I think it's like $100 or something. It's their cheapest one, and it's literally just a one button affair where there's just one button, there's blue light, no color changing or anything. And then they have the Eva Light, which is their older model, which is still cheaper than this. And honestly, I would recommend that for most people because I feel like it has everything you need change the light color and it has a small screen on it. The only thing that you're really getting with the Eva Smart is a slightly more modern design but not the Eva light looks pretty good too. But also with this you get a bigger screen. It's not really a screen it's just kind of you'll see later on that it's kind of like dots um, but you'll have that and then also you can control it via Wi-Fi which I don't really feel that much of a need for and I wouldn't really miss it if I didn't have it but the option is there if you want it. And before I get too far in, I should answer the question that most of you probably came here for and everybody wants to know, and that is, does it work? And I can tell you, it works, yeah. It works very well. Um, if you look at the clips that you'll see in this video, the uh, number towards the back of it on the display is the temperature coming in, and then the number up towards the front is the outgoing temperature, and you'll see how big of a difference there is between the two temperatures just from it doing its job. One of my favorite features with the Eva Polars, all of them at it, is that you can power it with any USB power bank and use it wherever the heck you want to. talk about the display. It's not an actual LCD but it has touch sensitive areas and a dotted area towards the left that shows different things. If you touch on the brightness icon you can change the brightness which you probably guessed. And the fan icon changes the fan speed. Touching the palette icon changes the color displayed in the water tank and unfortunately the display is not colored so it won't show what color is going to be shown in the water tank in the display. Touching and holding the icons gives you different options. Touching and holding the brightness icon activates night mode, which dims the display and turns off the tank light. Holding the fan icon activates sleep mode, which lets you set a timer for how long you want it to stay on. And then touching and holding the palette icon gives you different playlists for colors, which I don't really use. The one other thing that I should talk about is how it works. Um, I'm no scientist, so I'm not going to give you the best explanation, but it's an evaporative cooler, which means that it uses water, and it, through the process of evaporation, it cools the air down, and because it's using water, it also hydrates the air, so compared to like a normal uh, central air conditioner, it's not as dry, so it, it's better for your skin. And the build quality is just okay. It isn't terrible, but when you go up to move it, when you pick it up to move it, or you just kind of press up against it in any way, it has a tendency to kind of make those cheaper sounding creaky plastic noises. As for the price, the Eva Smart comes in at $230, which is quite a tall asking price for what it is. Uh, 
which is why I recommend the Evil Light to a lot of people because it's half the price. It's $130 compared to $230, and you're getting most of what the Eva Smart has. That about sums up all the major points I wanted to cover. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts you wanted to share or questions or anything, just comment down below. And lastly of all, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.